Robbie, just some of your emotions after that game. So angry. So angry with our performance. We go 1 0 up. And we stopped doing the things that got us into that position, really. And I mean, the goals. The, the, the goals are. Uh, unfair on schoolboys if I said it was schoolboy errors they're just so poor and you can't give a team that's full of confidence and a, a very good team th th those chances because it makes it extremely difficult for yourself you obviously mentioned once we was gone one nil up the performance up to that point was was a really good one wasn't it what sort of changed after that after that goal I, I don't know if it's a mentality thing you know we we you know we certainly don't say drop off but you know they're, they're a good team and they're gonna have spells and in the, in the main, yes, we we had to defend, but I don't remember too many chances until until we make mistakes. And at this level, against a team like Forest Green, um, you, you can't make those mistakes because quite rightly you get punished. So um, yeah, it's just a very frustrating way to to lose a game of football because it was all our own doing. Is that the sort of the key message to the players as well? you give away those opportunities to, to teams like this and they will take them. It's one of the messages I've just said to them there. I'd, I don't get how at 1-0 up we stop playing football. We stop we stop pressing, we stop passing forward. It's, it, there's no instructions from the sideline to do that. They're going to have a spell in the game and you have to defend properly. And, you know, on the main we were doing that. Um, I would say I think our lack of football in the last couple of weeks hasn't helped us. We looked a bit leggy. Um... And to come to the top of the table and not only lose the way we did, but the manner in, in which we did. Because then we go 2 1 down and we start playing again. And that can only be a mentality thing for me. Just looking at that first 50 minutes, which was up until the goal came, was that how you sort of expect your team to play? No, the first half I thought we weren't great, to be honest. I thought we um, had moments, shall I say, when we, when we did actually. Um, play for our system we we certainly had sort of half chances I think Connor on another day maybe gets a penalty um, I've seen it back I'll argue it maybe is because the player does enough to put him off I understand maybe why it's not given um, and we sort of had a couple of half opportunities but similar to them really they had a couple of set players which were dangerous um, they hit a post through lucky ricochet so the first half for me was was, was fairly balanced um, and like you say, we start the second half really well. You know, we dominate the game. And like you say, I, I'll have to look look at it back because we scored a goal and come off come off what we were doing, and that can't be acceptable. James Ball gave a debut to him, got his goal as well. What do you make of his overall performance? Yeah, he, he did well. He, he's obviously physically very strong. Um, we know we can score goals from the midfield. We played him in a slightly different position because of. You know, we, we we saw weakness in in Forest Green and wanted to exploit that with James's physicality, and it worked because he scores the goal and he'll be he'll be relatively pleased. I think he had another chance right at the end with a volley. I'm expecting to do better, but you know we shouldn't be we shouldn't be having to go into the last ten minutes uh, um, scrambling because there was, there was no need to. And like you say, goals change games to change the momentum of the games, and unfortunately. We, we gave two very cheap ones up. How was Paul Downing obviously have to, to come off? It was a groin injury. Um, he let me know straight away. He obviously, we made the change at half-time. I just wanted to get a little bit more control in the middle of the pitch. Um, and obviously, Tav ran his socks off, to be fair to him. He was chasing lost causes. So, Luke coming on made the, was, was a sensible choice, in my view. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I just... Just told the players there we need to roll our sleeves up now. This is there's no point telling everybody coming off the pitch. Their manager coming off. What a great team you got there. You're in a false position. Like, rubbish. We need to we need to win. We need to get some wins. You brought Stephen Dooley on at half time as well for, for George. Was that a tactical or is, is it George? That was more something? tactical. Um, I just felt that Stephen, you know, we, we could afford the way the game was going a little bit more um, of an attacking player in the middle of the pitch, George is a little bit more sort of behind the ball at times in the, in the shape that we play, so it was nothing against George, I just felt that um, Stephen would come on and have a good impact which which I thought he did and like you say for the 10-15 minutes we had to start the second half I think and yeah we're, we're fully in control of the game.
what's the sort of message to players now over the next couple of days ahead of I, Saturday? Well, listen, I look at myself after every game, win, lose or draw. And I've told the players they need to as well because some of the performances have, have come away from what I expect from them. So, um, you know, there's certainly, there's certainly no panic station because you panic and say things in the, in the heat at the moment. Um, you can be quite emotional, but we'll review as we always do. In the cold light of day, we probably come to the top of the table, a team flying, and say we've let them let them off the hook.